All right, here we are, hole number four. And this is a very common wind. Um, this is one that we've had in the past on this hole. Very tough with this wind. What you'll typically need to do is play a bump shot down right at the min lines. A lot of times you can actually see our winds up. 8.5 is actually pushing the limits a little bit. So it's almost a 20 wind. And you see something as high as 8.5, which makes this shot even tougher. I may need to start to short hit it towards max wind and um, you know just play it straight up at min club at uh, kind of the smaller winds so the smaller wind you're probably looking at about 7.0 ish give or take on this bump another thing you can do is you can go for this um, you know just kind of thread the fairway there um, with good sound ring play um, it's still very makeable like that but I always like just the ability to be able to slide this up. I remember a long time ago having this tournament here and us having this exact wind. So you can see with where I'm trying to land, as I mentioned, you know, I expect this to be essentially touching the min line with where I need. There's seven rings. I'm just waiting for it to happen. There's eight rings. Eh. Didn't end up happening. I'm thinking, you know, I'll write out one per ring. Let's just see how this looks. And it might just come down to just subtle ring differences as well. So you can see here it comes up through. And it looks like almost just a little bit too much on the ring adjustment. Um, and I was very close to one per there. And it was just a hair too much. Usually you can't do that full one per. It may come down to just subtle ring angle differences. You know, if I'm pulling just a little bit more back towards the front there, um, you may actually run into the red line. Um, and the way that that wind was positioned, maybe just a hair bit more to the right, it just missed being able to pull to the actual red line. So you'll want to stop somewhere, you know, maybe in the neighborhood of half a ring below one per. So if that was 8.3 my wind, maybe I'm thinking 7.8 rings, and then just be very exacting with the way that you uh, set up there. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind, but also keep in mind, you know, with just, just a little bit different angle, you know, you may run into that. And so keep in mind, especially if you're having to use a power one ball, for instance, there's almost no way you're not going to be able to short hit it. So you're going to almost have to set it at kind of the top of the shot circle and try to get that dialed in. So keep that in mind. Good luck and see you guys on the next one.